hey guys i'm back with another video and in this video i'm going to talk about a question which i get a lot whenever i work with dotnet maui blazor hybrid application okay so the question i get is whenever i am working on a dotnet maui blazor hybrid mobile application especially for mobile for example this application this timesheet app which we build and this was how it looks we had these bottom tab bar here then i created one more application that if you remember full stack e-commerce application for fruits and vegetables it also had this bottom tab bar if you see here then online quiz did we have maybe in the trip travel expense manager we have two apps one using dotnet mau xaml but this one which i created a long time ago here also i had this bottom tab bar so for all these bottom tab bars what i do i actually made these custom using uh, normal blazor razor css html all these stuff i don't use uh, tabbed page or dot and maui shell for this bottom tab bar so i get this question a lot that why don't you use shell and i see a lot of people use shell to manage these tabs in this video i'm going to tell you why i don't like or i don't use this bottom tab bar from shell for dotnet maui blazor hybrid applications one thing i'll uh, make it clear here i love shell i love dotnet maui shell and whenever i'm working with dotnet maui xaml i always use shell for blazor hybrid i never use that. so here i have this simple application which is using dotnet 9 okay this is dotnet maui blazor hybrid application here we had these components to so the blazor stuff then we had this main page dot xaml where we simply had this simple blazor web view i simply added this label right now it is not doing anything different here i'll show you what i'm doing this so for this particular application i actually created a simple app shell and I added this tab bar so that we can have a dotnet maui shell tab bar not the blazor hybrid side okay so now here if you see from all these three I am using the same main page so this is the same main page now the first problem which comes with the shell is we have only one blazor hybrid application right so now if we are using app shell if we are using multiple tabs from all these tabs we mostly want to go to some different components different pages okay so that means when i'm clicking on this home page it should go to let's say home page when i'm clicking this counter page it should go to counter page when i'm clicking on weather tab it should go to the weather page now if we see here we have proper routing setup from blazor world but the way we are connecting dotnet maui and blazor hybrid that is this main page blazor web view here if we see we simply have a host page that means the initial page where, which will act as a container for our blazor hybrid application this is index.html and then here we provide root component where we provide these routes now one way could be to manage these things we can maybe move this blazor web view somehow directly to the app shell and maybe using some direct content template or direct content inside the shell content and then instead of using this root component at routes we can maybe provide directly counter or home or weather that is one way but if we do that then what would happen it will not have the routes that means it will not have this router so that means we are not going to have the layout and we are not going to have the proper routing setup so that will break that means that is not a good use case now we have one more option and that option is this blazor web view gives us start path so here we can define different routes here so let's say for this one we can say slash counter or things like this basically now now we need to somehow connect no so now we need to somehow tell uh, this main page 
that we are on this particular tab so we need to manage some state now all these are small things this is not the major blocker for me now i'm going to show you what is the major blocker for me why don't i use it now here if you see whenever we are using blazor web view it is going to initialize a blazor application for us in this case this blazor web view is one application which is hosting the index.html and index.html is this index.html which is actually a container for our entire blazor application now if i have this app shell i am using tab bar from the app shell we have three different shell content so these can be directly blazor web view these can be inside main page and then blazor web view now what would happen when i am on the first page we will have one instance of our blazor application entire blazor application now if i switch the tab i go to the next tab then it is again going to initialize a brand new blazor application and when i am going to click on the third tab it is going to initialize one more blazor application now if we have three tabs now we have three different instances of our entire blazor application that means inside our dotnet maui now we will be running three different blazor applications now one thing is blazor already if we are doing all this stuff it has its own uh rendering cycle its own memory its own uh, things to manage the state routing navigation this and that are lots of different things so it will have three different instances to manage all these things which is not a good thing and then we are going to have one more problem let's say we want to uh, manage some state across these tabs because this, this is a very common use case right we want to have some uh, global state we want to have it in, on one tab we want to modify or fetch it from some other tab now if we are using scoped dependency now one scope means one blazor application now the scope is going to be broken here because now we are going to have three different scopes although we can use singleton so for dot and maui application we mostly use singleton singleton is scoped dot kind of same uh, there is only one difference for xaml c sharp side this is another uh, what we say another scope and for blazor this is another scope in this particular case we are going to have four different scopes one would be for our c sharp and xaml side dot and maui side and then one scope for each shell content blazor application so this is the main reason i don't like to use shell tabs for blazor hybrid application because now we'll be running three different blazor applications in a single dotnet maui application which is not a good approach so we can easily pull off the simple bottom tab bar this is very easy to do with simple css and simple blazor c sharp logic it is pretty straightforward pretty good easy to manage easy to handle we can do whatever we want that's the main reason now i can quickly show you uh, how this works we are going to have three different uh, versions that i can quickly show you although you need to trust me but i can show you again and i'm not going to uh, run it on android or iphone because this is same this is same everywhere what is the problem did i mess something up main page dot xaml blazor web view run it now here i just have this simple application and i'll quickly show you what i did so this main page.xaml.cs i have a state class this is a simple c sharp class which has only one property counter and the initial value is 10 i have registered it as scoped okay now if you go to main page.xaml we are simply injecting it we are getting it from the di and we are directly putting the counter value to the lbl.txt which is the simple label which i added on this xaml page now after this if we go to the blazor side on home.razor we don't have on counter.razor if we see here the current count this is the default which comes with the template and the state count this is what we are having so state.counter and i'm having a button this is already there increment 
on click of this increment i am incrementing the state's counter variable as well. okay and we are injecting this state all right so this is what i did so i simply added this on counter now we see the application this is 10 is fine state counter 11 that means it uses 10 and plus 1 because did i click on any thing main page dot xaml dot cs state dot counter we'll see maybe i click this now if i go to counter here also we have state count 11 weather state count 11 home counter oh 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 my bad i actually added the same counter page here if you see the start path this is working actually this is directly going there so it is opening the counter page directly so this counter page directly here it is showing us state dot counter which has a default value of 10 and on main page dot xaml we are just showing its value now state count plus plus in count let's try to run it again okay i need to check from where this 11 is coming but okay the, the main point is here this is 10 one different scope this is totally different scope now if we go to all these pages you see there was this flicker effect which was initializing a new blazer application i go here again now we have these applications now it these will be fairly quick but now we have three different instances now here this is 11 on home page if i click now it is 12 if i click 13 14 15 now we have this 15 but we have this state as a scoped class and we are modifying this so it should be modified everywhere but here we see this is 10 only this is ml side which i already told you this is a totally different scope but now if i go to counter page here you see it is still 11 whether still 11 if i go back to home page it is 15 now if i go to let's say weather page and if i make it let's say 13 now if i go back to counter it is still 11 if i go back to home this is 15 so that means all these are totally different scopes so managing data or managing state between these three it can lead us uh, unexpected behavior because most of the time we use scoped uh, registrations so someone can might easily miss this thing when they are developing application blazer hybrid because we would consider or we would think as a as a developer if i have some basic idea about blazer and if i come here and if i see okay i have this scoped registration which we mostly use and here i would consider i would think that for entire blazer application that means for this entire components folder and everything is inside a single scope if I'm doing, if I'm using some sanitized state, if I'm modifying from one component, I'm trying to access it from another component, it will have the actual, the updated value. But this is not the case in this particular case. The reason being, again, we have three different instances of Blazor application. That means three different Blazor applications are running inside one .NET MAUI application. All right. So I hope it was clear or maybe you guys could uh, maybe understood some or maybe learned something new here so do let me in the comment if you guys use the this shell tabs or tabbed page in dotnet maui for blazor hybrid mobile application to manage the tabs or do you use the approach i use simple blazor side of tabs using css html blazor c sharp razor code only so do let me in the comment all right and if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel i'll be back soon with some other cool video till then bye bye happy coding